Hi there, it is October 3rd, 12 noon, and I am roasting here on my back deck. While I wait for the official stats, I'm gonna go over something even more valuable with you. It's 12 noon, and we do not have the official stats from the Victoria Real Estate Board. However, they will be coming soon. In the meantime, I've got something even more valuable for you. Stick around. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna go over actual sales, net unconditional sales, activity over last month, basically a summary of what has happened as we realtors see it in September, 2022. So before we dive into that, I just wanna remind you guys, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, make sure to give us a like, and put in the comments what you wanna see in our next video. My name is Chris Cochran, seasoned veteran realtor right here in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. So this is the unofficial stats. Basically what this is, is what I believe is a more true reflection of what's going on in the market. It's more up to date because those official stats that you're gonna be getting later today are actually homes sold, meaning keys handed over, titles transferred, money transferred in uh, properties, whereas this is something more valuable. This is what I call more up to date. It is the net unconditional sales, all the new listings and all the active listings in September, 2022. So let's dive into that now. Okay, so net unconditional sales. Let me define what that is. Let's say you write an offer on a property. You have two weeks worth of conditions. You're gonna check out all these strata documents, make sure that your financing and all that sort of stuff is in order. Well, once you remove that, that becomes a, an unconditional sale. So what we're looking at right now is net unconditional sales, meaning the amount of people that wrote offers and removed subjects in September, 2022. So the net unconditional sales in 2022 for September were 410. Compare that with 761 in the year previous. Not exactly 50% less, but certainly a lot less. New listings, now this tells a story of selection. Uh, law, supply and demand dictates what's going on in the market. New listings are listings that are brought to market that are listed this month. So in September, 2022, we had 1,155 new listings and the same time last year, so 2021 September, we had 978. Again, significantly different, not dramatic like I thought we would see, but we're certainly getting up there. The supply is coming up, the demand is going down, so what you're getting is a more balanced product out there. You've got time to make decisions, that sort of thing. Okay, so this is a very telling stat. This is active listings as of the end of September, 2022. Now this will give you a good idea as to what's going on in the market. At the end of September, 2022, we had 2,300 active listings. Compare that to the same time last year where we had 1,124 listings. It's almost twice as much selection as you had last year. Obviously things have changed buyer's demand is going down. What I would say is like a more normalized market out there where you can write an offer that's got conditions on it. You don't have to write full price. You're not competing with other people. Although I did see multiple offers happening in the last week of this month. Again, it is out there as promised. These are the unofficial stats as we wait for the Victoria Real Estate Board to release the official stats a little bit later today. And I'll bring those to you as well. One last thing, if you wanna know up to the minute stats, like what is actually going on, what's going on in the market, what my feel is on the market, if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate, you need to pick up the phone, call me, I can give you the rundown on what's going on and certainly answer any of your questions. My number is in the comments below.